Welcome to Wawa Mela Channel. Snuggle Time, a winter meditation. The snow is falling soft and quiet outside the cold windows. It is so peaceful. If you listen, you can hear the soft tread of birds' toes patter on the path that is thick with snowdrift, and the hot breath of elk who are hiding in the trees. You are inside, in your cozy house. The fire is making crackling sounds, and the air smells like soup. Mama is making toast in the kitchen, and the kettle is whistling softly on the gas. You have your snuggliest socks on. They are woolly and cozy. They come halfway up to your knee. You also have your softest pajamas, the ones with little reindeers on them. Under your arm is your favorite teddy, Bobby. He has one eye, and his tummy button has fallen off. He has been kissed away to threadbare. When you were a baby, you chewed on him when you went to sleep. Now he is cuddling you as you watch the snow together. You can hear Papa playing the piano in the other room. It is a song you know well. It goes on and on forever, sounding like a fairy dance, waltzing notes through a forest feast of apples, blueberries, and warm potatoes, all spread out on a toadstool. Listening to the music, you are transported by the fairy feast. You tap your toes against the sofa, pushed up against the cold pane of the window. You tap in time to the music, and your heartbeat dances along. There is a sound in the garden. A tinkling, like bells. You press your face to the cold glass. You see a glimpse of white, of dark leaning trees. And then the mist from your breath makes it smoky, like a dream. What was it out there? Outside? You need to know. You uncross your legs and walk across the carpet, your socks making soft little padding sounds, like foxes on moss. When you reach the door, you unlatch the lock and open it. A gust of chill air kisses your face. The sun is going down behind the trees. It glows pale. It looks like it doesn't know whether it wants to be the sun or the moon. Now you can hear the birds making soft croaks to one another in the bare branches. They are saying good night. Or perhaps good morning, depending on whether they are the kind of birds who love the daylight, or who love the stars. Your cat Estrella streaks out from between your legs, and flits across the snow and ice, escaping deep into the wood. You know she will be back before too long and so you aren't at all worried. The wild beast in her loves to run through empty woods at dusk. She knows when is the right time to come home. As you stand there at the door, you know how cold it is out there. But there is something magical about this evening. The sun is lowering, and the twilight is coming to play. It makes magical things happen, you know it. And so, you step onto the first step. BRR. The stone is cold and wet. You feel your socks drinking the slush. You wiggle your toes. BRR. You think again. But you still down the second step. And the third. And the fourth. And then, you are standing in the snow. You still don't know why, but it feels so nice at this moment, like just the thing you are supposed to do. And then it happens. That magical thing. A beautiful doe steps out from behind the boughs and branches laden with snow. She is lean and graceful. She is the color of a sleek lake on an overcast evening. She has long lashes and a curious glance. She sees you standing in the snow, looking at her. Her nostrils widen. She nods her head. Just once, like a queen. Then she almost seems to smile as she turns and walks gently away, dissolving into the middling darkness, the brushes and bushes and furs. You are cold all over now, but inside your heart and blood are warm. You turn and go back inside, leaving your wet socks by the door. 
In bare feet you pad back to your little seat by the window, snuggle your teddy bobby under your arm, and wait for mummy to call for dinner.